problems involving division. There are 45 green apples in a row. Mother would like to share them equally with five of her friends. How many green apples will each of her friends receive? In able to solve this problem, you need to remember the steps in solving word problems. Right? So let's enumerate the steps in solving word problems. The first one is identify the given. Then, write the question. Then, the operation is used. Then after that, write the number sentence, then solve the problem, and lastly, write your final answer. These are the steps in solving word problems. Let's start with the given. What are the given numbers? So the given are 45 and 5. So we have 45 green apples and 5 friends. So what is asking the problem? That's correct, children. How many green apples will each of her friends receive? What is the operation to be used? Good job! We're going to use division. So now, let's write the number sentence. Always remember, the number sentence in writing number sentence of division, you need to write the dividend first. Dividend is the total number of objects. Then divided by the divisor, which is the number of objects in each group. Then equals n. So the number sentence is 45 divided by 5 equals n. Since we have 45 green apples in total and 5 friends. So let's have the solution. For the solution, any solution will be, or if you memorize the multiplication table, you can easily find out the quotient without doing the solution. But for now, let's use the solution using the skip counting method. Let's use your fingers. Let's skip count by 5 until we reach 45. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So the final answer is? That's correct! 9 apples! Is that clear, children? So to check if your answer is correct, simply multiply the divisor, which is 5, to the quotient, which is 9. So let's multiply 5 times 9 equals... Good job! It's 45. Since the product and the dividend are both 45, that means our answer is correct. So let's have the next problem. There are 24 bananas with 4 bananas in each bunch. How many bunches are there? So let's give the given. What are the given numbers? That's correct. It's 24 and 4 bananas. What is asking the problem? Good job, children. How many bunches are there? What operation are we going to use? Fantastic! It's division. How about the number sentence? Good job! It's 24 divided by 4 equals n. Since we have 24 bananas in total and the divisor is 4 because we have 4 bananas in each bunch. So let's have the solution. Again, children, for the solution, any solution will do. So let's keep count by 4 until we reach 24. Let's do it together. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So the final answer is... Very good! It's 6 bunches. So let's check our answer if it is correct. Again, to check, simply multiply the divisor and the quotient. So we have 4 times 6 equals... Very good! It's 24. Since our product and dividend are both 24, that means our answer is correct. So let's have the last example. There are 50 books. If there are 10 books in each shelf, how many shelves are there? So let's give the given. 
what are the given numbers? Fantastic! It's 50 and 10 books. What is asked in the problem? Good job, children! It's how many shelves are there? How about the operation? What is the operation to be used? Good job! It's division! How about the number sentence? The number sentence is... Very good! It's 50 divided by 10 equals N. So let's have the solution. Again, any solution will do. For now, let's use this keep counting by 10 until we reach 50. Let's do it together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 50 divided by 10 equals 5. So the final answer is 5 shelves. So let's check if our answer is correct. Let's multiply the divisor and our quotient. 10 times 5 equals Good job, children! It's 50. Since our product and our dividends are both the same, are both 50, that means our answer is correct. Always remember, children, in solving the word problem, we need to follow this. We need to understand, plan, solve, and look back. For the understand, we need to identify the necessary information presented in the problem. And we need to know what is asked. So for the plan, we need to identify the operation to be used. And we need to write the number sentence. For the solve, we need to apply the operation needed to solve the problem. And lastly, for the look back, we need to check your answer using multiplication. Again, you will multiply the divisor and your quotient. The product will be the dividend. Is that clear? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.